Good morning and welcome back. I wonder how many decisions you'll have to make today. How many you made yesterday? How many you'll make tomorrow? We go through life constantly making decisions, don't we? Ranging from countless tiny ones relating to all areas of life to big impactful ones affecting our future. How do we make those decisions? We need wisdom. But where do you look for wisdom and guidance? There's so much all around us. You can find endless and conflicting advice and opinion on the internet. How do you know which bits are right? You can get wide ranging advice and instruction from friends and other people. Who do you trust? How do you know that they've got it right? You can rummage through your own experience and knowledge, but it's patchy and sometimes unreliable. For the writer, the answer is simple. Look to God's word. Turn with me to Psalm 119 and verse 97. Oh, how I love your law. I meditate on it all day long. Your commands are always with me and make me wiser than my enemies. I have more insight than all my teachers, for I meditate on your statutes. I have more understanding than the elders, for I obey your precepts. I have kept my feet from every evil path so that I might obey your word. I have not departed from your laws, for you yourself have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. I gain understanding from your precepts, therefore I hate every wrong path. So what does the writer do with God's word, and what does it give him? Well, clearly he's committed to it. He invests time in it. I meditate on it all day long, he says. I don't think that means that he's a hermit living a monastic lifestyle and spending all day and every day reading and studying the Bible. I think it means that he commits time to it regularly, daily, and that he memorises it, he thinks about it, and during the day reflects on what he's read and how it affects his life. As a result, he says God's commands are always with him. If we invest time in scripture, we get to know it better. We get to know God's mind. When we face decisions and situations, we'll then more often know how to respond and what to do. This level of commitment has a massive impact on the writer's life. God's commands, he says, make him wiser than his enemies. We don't know the detail of his situation, who his enemies are or what their differences were but they're presumably not seeking their wisdom from God. They're getting it from the world. That's always a danger for us. There are so many places we can get advice. There's so much stuff on the internet which we really can't trust. There's the advice of friends, family members and colleagues who may not be seeking to follow the Lord and are therefore basing their advice on a worldly point of view or may simply sometimes get things wrong, as we all do. We need God's wisdom. But then we see the impact on the writer goes further. He has more insight than his teachers, more understanding than the elders. He's invested more in God's word, so he gains more in return. It's also equipped him to live faithfully for God. I have kept my feet from every evil path, he says. I have not departed from your laws. That doesn't happen automatically. We have to choose to obey, and that's the vital next stage once we read and understand God's word. But the more we get into the word, the better we get to know God, the closer we get in our relationship with him, and that motivates us to live for him. So, whose wisdom will you live by today? Where will you look? Who will you listen to? How much time will you invest in God's word today, this week? this year. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Help us to immerse ourselves in it. Help us to decide priorities wisely so that we commit time to it and to spending time with you. Help us to grow through it. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you again tomorrow.